Hello friends, it is your creative weird makeup artist pal Katz to bring you another makeup video. Today's going to be a tutorial of Starfire from Teen Titans. I have done Raven before but never Starfire and I thought it would be a great video that everyone could achieve my version of Starfire. And before we get started, I definitely have a P.O. box where you guys can write me letters. And there's also an Amazon wish list if you want to support this channel. Because we post videos every Monday and Friday here. Not only beauty makeups, body paintings, effects videos. So you can subscribe for some more. But let's turn into Starfire. First of all, I'm not naked. I do have this on. I'm going to paint a color on, but you could definitely get like a sleeveless like purple or silver dress or both or like a sleeveless purple dress with like a silvery collar but I'm gonna paint the silvery collar that Starfire has and I definitely got a pink wig honestly all you need is like a pink wig for this look so I'm gonna put a wig cap on and look crazy while doing it now if you didn't know our girl Starfire basically barely has an eyebrow she doesn't have full human eyebrows they're kind of like just spots on her face above her eyelids so we're gonna recreate that getting some glue stick the purple one's my fave and we just smudged it really hard in there and then we're gonna swipe them flat with a spoolie I like to swipe up to lay my brow hairs flat and I like the purple one because you can tell when it's dry because it will no longer be purple and we're not gonna do the traditional orange flesh skin tone of Starfire I'm just gonna do my regular skin tone because I don't wanna resemble anything orange. Just orange foundation did not sound fun to me and I feel like it's easier for people to use the foundation they have already instead of orange. All right, now that we have our brows all situated, I did about three layers of powder and glue. It depends on like your brow, hair, thickness. I'm gonna put on a primer, this is the e.l.f mint melt it's one of my all-time favorite primers people relate this primer to milk's hydro grip and this smells like one of my favorite mint gums by orbit sweet mint that's why i love it too oh and i do have contact lenses you can get contact lenses that are more green these ones are like a mix of green and blue and they might show up blue on camera it's just what i have again you don't have to have green contact lenses you could just have a pink wig and you're set for this look but what I want to do next is get a corrector to really make my eyebrows disappear. This is my favorite corrector. If you have dark brows, dark circles, this will be great. If you don't have dark brows and you just get away with not doing a corrector, you do you. But I have very dark brow hair, so I'm going to do some peachy corrector. And we're going to also do a full coverage foundation today. You could also do your eyeshadow first before your foundation. But I like doing my foundation before my eyeshadow unless it's like super dark purples, black, dramatic. We're going to do some bright colors today. When I want to go full coverage Halloween glam, I go for my Uma Beauty Say What foundation. This stuff has skincare in it. It's unlike any other. It's definitely in my top three favorite foundations of all time. I just love it. You can use whatever foundation you prefer. I'm going in with that foundation brush today because I forgot to wet a sponge and that's just my reasoning for using a brush today. I don't know why. I haven't used a brush in a long time and this brush is so good. It's by Wet n Wild. If you want a good full coverage foundation, oh my gosh, Milani makes a great one. This one, L'Oreal Pro Glows or the those series are, are really good. There's so many great foundations out there. You don't even have to pay a lot of money. This one's a pretty penny. I would say a drugstore similar to this one is definitely the Milani one. Just look at that coverage. I look like a newborn baby who's bratless right now. <laughs> Not kidding. I look like I had to shave all of my brows as a part of a cult initiation right now. And like I haven't seen the sun in years. Literally, that's just my skin tone though skin tone on fleek like having to not see the sun for how many years i'm gonna bring it not all the way down my neck as i usually do because of course we're gonna paint on a silver collar bad and bougie look extreme i'm just gonna bring it about here i've got to get my corrector to do my under eyes 
because Starfire does not have dark under eye circles from working multiple jobs like Sis does here. Starfire is beautiful. Now, I'm even going to do a concealer with the brush because I just am that impatient to go and wet a beauty sponge, even though I have so many beauty sponges. Okay, I'm going to even do this. Bye bye, brows. Bye bye. See ya. Oh, why did I grab that? I don't even like that. What I really love is a big fluffy brush for concealer. Y'all, I am so ready for spooky season. I feel like it's already started. I'm so excited. And my birthday is in sp during spooky season. You could swipe here with your concealer, but I would tap when it comes to the eyebrows. Then I'm gonna get a lighter concealer. This is Rhea Cosmetics SPF 30 concealer. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so creamy. It has skincare in it. It has blue light reflecting properties. Those blue lights that are from our phones and emitted from computers that could be harmful. Anywhere I wanna highlight and bring forward, I use this. Especially on where my brows were, you could definitely use lighter foundations and concealers here to cancel out everything, all those natural brow hairs before. It just helps a lot and to make my face, we're trying to make it look more animated, you know? We're gonna have to make our nose look snatched as well and contour the nose. Anime chic. Oh, and here, put a light foundation or concealer here because Starfire's chin is very pointed and where I would get dark circles. I'm just going back in with my foundation brush to really blend all that product in. Now we wanna set all this. I'm getting my RCMA no color powder and a giant puff, a poof to set all this. Right, right. This is so extra, you don't have to do this. I have some like yellow tone, like light banana powder. And what I do is I grab that with a fluffy brush and I get my dark under eye circle area. The outer corner, my eye tends to drag and get darker. And it just wakes up that under eye as you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. And I'm even gonna grab my puff again with that yellow powder and bake or set this. The only baking I know over makeup baking is cookies, pies, muffins. Now, once your face looks like a newborn mixed with an actual egg of the chicken variety, we're going to contour for the gods. This is my favorite contour palette and I've been using the highlight from it. This is Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. Says so she's fire. And you want to contour like your life depended on it because we're turning into an anime child named Starfire. I'm even gonna go on my temple, like right here, and up my forehead. If you make any mistakes up here, you're gonna have pixie bangs to cover it. Starfire is known to have the most tiniest, pointiest, snatched chin jawline in all of the universe. See? Does my chin look like it's snatched to the heavens? I hope it does. You know how everyone has a least favorite part of makeup? Why am I holding this like it's a mini microphone? Well, my least favorite part of my makeup routine of all time, and I don't know why I keep doing it, but I keep doing it, is nose contour. I hate it with the fiery passion. I don't know what it is about nose contour. I'm like, why sh I should just accept my nose for the width it is, but when it comes to makeups like these, I feel like I just need to look like a snatched Caucasian girl. I just need it. Isn't anime princesses like resemble snatched Caucasian girls? They look like Japanese Barbies, literally. I tried. Anyways, would Starfire be blushing? I'm gonna put blush. My favorite kawaii princess blush for anime would be the ColourPop one called My Type, the pressed powder blushes. You could honestly use eyeshadow instead of this. Same thing. It's so pigmented. Just look. Oh my gosh. She would have a pink nose. Just pigment. Cooler. It's just for the gods. It's so pretty. I want to look like I'm blushing. I want to look like I'm embarrassed. Like I just got kissed by my crush in the stars on date night. Yes. Let's do brows next because I'm so excited about brows and I don't know why. Probably because Starfire has the most unique brows out of any cartoon character. They look like those girls who are so cool, like just too cool for school on TikTok who shave half their eyebrows. That's what Starfire reminds me of. So this is the wig I got on Amazon. I have not styled her. She just is fresh out the bag. I'm trying to figure out, oof, that looks orange compared. Figure out what the tone of 
what the color of the brows would be to match this. Oh yeah, that, that's it. So her brow color is called Laser Tech and it's from this ColourPop Color Vision. These highlighting, like bright highlighter color palettes, the pink one. Her eyebrow is otherworldly. Like some images when she's worried, it's like more here. Some images when she's joyful, it's more, I think I'm gonna do a joyful, like more towards here. Yeah. I'm just using a flat brush. You, you know those little flat line brushes. You know what this is, I hope. I look like I snorted a hostess little Debbie game. <laughs> I look like I'm going to Tanashi69, what's that guy's name? One of his concerts. I look like I taste the rainbow on a night out at a rave. These brows, man. You know what I'm gonna do? My parents haven't seen me since this panoramic city started in years. I might just show up with something like this as brows and just not say a word about it. We're gonna emulate some big eyes with a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk on that waterline. The deadly area, this is like the area of sin. This is like so dangerous to me looking. Every time I used to see people do that, I'm like, are you nuts? Then I started doing it. Why? Peer pressure. I feel like if there's any type of toxic chemical in makeup, you should not put it that close to your fluids in your face and it would go through there. I think too much. So if Starfire had beauty makeup, I feel like there would be a gigantic pop of lime green that's as bright as her eyebrows, or eyebrow I should say, these two equal one basically. So I'm gonna get some P. Louise because I want that to pop up. I want it to look like, I want the al other aliens to be able to see my eye makeup. So I want this to really just, you know what? Ooh, I just got an idea. I like how I just got an idea after I did that. Okay. We're gonna get some basic green eyeshadow. Just your standard, if you picked up a crayon, green, all right? We're gonna swipe that in the crease. This is called Level Up by Color Drain, all right? In the crease. And in the outer corner right here, all right? Now that we laid down our foundation, I'm gonna need some pastel green. Just a light green to buff out the corners, the edges. Now you don't have to follow my tutorial when it comes to this eye makeup exactly. You could do just any green you want. This is just my doing, cause I'm hard on myself for no apparent reason at all. Now, I'm gonna do a cut crease with some P. Louise concealer. Again, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna do this with some concealer. You don't have to have P. Louise, you could cut crease with any concealer that you have. And then I'm going in with a bright green eyeshadow. The brightest, limest green you have. And I'm gonna do some on the under eye, smoke it out with some of the lightest green. Getting the darker green again and then putting on the bottom lash line. Now I'm gonna get a sparkly pink. Ooh, that looks salmon. I need a different pink. Aha! Another ColourPop palette. Now that's pink. I'm gonna put some other thicker sparkles here. So next, the lashes I'm gonna use are my favorite. They are in the style Lexi from the Dollar Lash Club. I don't know what it is about these lashes specifically, but I keep returning back to them time and time again. They just like open up your eye. They look so cute. You can even like curl them, use whatever mascara you want. If you want to use waterproof for this type of night or not, I'm just going to use a lip balm and then, oh, I forgot highlighter. I need a highlighter that's super bomb. So we're going with the old school Flexitarian by ColourPop. Even highlighting this area, my chin. Getting some light pink eyeshadow and just dabbing it on my lips. And we're gonna go over that with gloss. This is one of those So Juicy Glosses by ColourPop. All right, now all I have to do is paint some silver on. For the silver paint, it could get messy. It's Graftobian's Magic Powder. This stuff is amazing. But like I said, it could get messy, so you could definitely just get an outfit. Even a cute, I wonder if they have like a 10 woman outfit. That would be cute. Now it's time to put on a wig. Again, I just got mine on Amazon. If you're lucky enough to find one at your local Halloween store, that's great too. We want about one inch pieces in the front right here and leave the bangs. And the rest, we're gonna do a half pin up back. 
And just like that, we have turned into Starfire, or what I think she would look like in real life, my version of Starfire from Teen Titans. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was so much fun to do. All the products I used in this video will be listed down below in the description box, along with my Amazon wish list, P.O. box, all that information down below. Thank you again so much for the support. Shout out to these people. I've been leaving amazing comments and anyone who shares my videos on Instagram. And to Diana M for the amazing gifts from Amazon. Thank you all so much for supporting this channel. Subscribe for more every Monday and Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.